This workflow was requested in relation to using a GS15 Rover to take measurements from a moving car. This video has been created in a simulated CS15 controller which is running SmartWorks version 5.61. For any controller that is being used for a variety of tasks, the best way to manage configuration settings is using working styles. And I'll be setting up this vehicle survey working style for both robotic total station and GNSS robot use. I will also configure the automatic point logging that the controller continues to record points. I've already switched on my SmartWorks controller and it's currently in the main menu. The first step is to select option 4, user, and select option 2, working style wizard. Then we want to check the second box which is new working style. I'm just going to name my work style. Now if you had more than one vehicle, which will have different height or sets to the ground for the receiver, you might want to set up different working styles for each vehicle. That's not the case for me. Okay, so I'm just going to configure my target settings for total station quickly. You always want to use continuous plus um, when you're doing mobile surveys. Just leave that how it was. I always set these temperature, humidity, and pressure when I turn on the total station, so I'm just going to leave those at default for now. Turn on my guidance lights just so that I can see them from the vehicle if the total station loses me. And in satellite tracking settings, um, I'm using a GS15 Unlimited, so I'm actually going to turn on these other constellations. You'll need to set these up as per what your receiver can track. That's fine. I'm not going to have a different offset for a moving antenna because this working style is dedicated for mobile mapping. It's just going to have the one antenna height. And I've already measured this distance from the underside of the receiver from the antenna reference point to the ground. It's 1.230 in my case. Just select F1 OK. Um, now this is how I set up my quality control. Basically it's going to stop measurements instantaneously and we make this the points. I'm not checking the quality before storing. It's just remaining unchecked. I'll keep an eye on the 3D secure as I'm driving and I'll stop if it goes too high. Um, we don't need to automatically start measuring points so I'm just going to select F1 OK. Now I don't need to log data for post-processing but if you did um, you can either log it on the controller or the receiver. Uh, now the log data when static, we need to change this to say static and kinematic because a mobile uh, receiver is a kinematic receiver so we need to have that on. And we want, if we're moving at any sort of reasonable rate of speed we need to uh, probably log down at about 20 hertz just to make sure that we can get accurate positions. Uh, I'm not going to be measuring points uh, TPS and GPS points conventionally with this working style, I'm only measuring them when moving. So I'm just going to configure my GPS auto points and my TPS auto points. And the way that I recommend doing them is with date and time. Using date and time means that you always guaranteed to have a unique point identifier. You won't have overlap of point identifiers, there's no chance of accidentally storing a point with the same ID. Because remember, this is going to continuously log points. Um, it's not going to prompt you and tell you that you've got the same point ID stored before. It's just going to log them because it's got to keep going. So that's how I set it up. Um, I'm just using stringing attributes. So I've got that set up in mine, which is already at default. And we could reconfigure our survey screen. We're not actually going to use the survey screen with this working style. We're going to use the auto logging points screen. So it's pretty fruitless. I'll just leave that 
as it is by default, select OK. Hot keys, leave them up to you to decide how you want them. And I don't want it to prompt, prompt me at all before storing points because this is a moving working style. Uh, the only thing I'd really change in these regional settings is set the time to 24 hour because that's going to um, that's going to make the time stamps on all of our point IDs, which are set stored by date and time, match with our time format here. Okay, you can set these up however you like. Probably put my position update on screen to five hertz because we're moving along. Um, just set the other settings up how you, how you prefer them. Okay, the working style is now configured. I'm just going to go, into go to work and go to survey. And we're going to set up our auto point logging settings. So if we press the function button from in the survey screen, we can then see configure appears on F2. And if we select that, we're given our configuration options. So I'm going to select the second tab at the top, which is auto points. I'm going to turn on log auto points. Now the way that I usually set this up is I, I set it to store points by distance or height. Max distance I usually leave it 3 metres. And then max height is I usually leave that at 0 0.5 metres. So it's going to store a point whichever comes first. 3 metres horizontal movement or a height change of more than half a metre. Uh, the rest of this I'll just leave how it is. I don't want it to not store data if the 3D CQ exceeds a limit. I'm just going to log all the data. Um, that way I can post, uh, remove, remove points post processing, but at least I store everything that I've driven. Um, I'm just going to press this F3 configure tab. And this is where we can actually uh, reconfigure the, the page to show exactly what we want. So you could Say, for example, change this to display um, your 2D coordinate quality on your horizontal, um, or maybe your 1D to show your height quality. Um, this is a good option here, which is measured auto points, just shows how many points you've stored already. Just give you an idea of your file size. That's already there from, by default. I'm just going to leave this as it came. And press F F1 OK, and then F1 OK again. And you can see now that I've got my uh, auto points tab here now, so now it has survey code and auto points. Uh, I can select a code if I wanted to. As soon as I press start, it will record the first point, and then it will record another, another point if the position changes by two meters or if the height changes by half a meter. That completes the uh, workflow on setting up a working style for mobile mapping.